Hello everyone and welcome to this GhostSkills.com video. My name is Francesco and what we're going to do in this session is discuss how you can maximize your Slack usage. Now I know a lot of you guys out there are Slack users and individuals who want to enhance their Slack abilities. And of course Slack, for those who don't know, is one of the leading team communication tools out there. So it's important to understand how people are using this and how you can maximize your daily routine with Slack. So of course, Slack is used in Teams. Here I have one of the public Slacks that I am involved in. Um, and it's a great uh, community, of course. And the good thing about Slack is it's trying to like bring email a bit further away uh, from your experience. So one of the things in the first tips that I want to recommend is being able to send different formats of uh, images and files over on Slack. Now, many people forget this. They normally communicate on Slack using text and then email over documents. Of course, this is absolutely fine. However, if you want to maximize your Slack usage, uh, click the plus button and hit the add file from computer. Once you've hit that, you can actually see all of your files and you can send over any images, files, or actually even code over to your team. Now there's also posts, so you can create a new post inside of a Slack channel, and you can also code uh, a text snippet as well, which is handy too. Now if you ever want to see any of the shared uh, documents or information, you can click shared files at the bottom and see everything that your team have shared. Now if you drag up, you can obviously see all of the images and access everything there. It's a very handy storage location, but there are limits to Slack's um, storage abilities, so make sure you check that before going ahead with this. Now, of course, being able to integrate uh, Slack with lots of different services is something that you can do too. So if you go over to apps and integrations um, on the left-hand panel, this is the web version. Apps and integrations will take you to a page which will allow you to explore all of the tools that integrate with Slack. Now, there are many resources everything from being able to complete tasks inside of your Slack channels and also send things like Google Drive. Now, this is one of my favorite ones, sending Google Drive uh, information. So if I was to copy a Google Drive link and paste it into here, it would automatically become uh, clickable for the people inside of the channel. Now, if you're looking to integrate it with something that you already use, Trello has a good uh, Slack function which allows you to collaborate inside of Torello projects without even leaving Slack, which is an impressive function. Now, of course, all you have to do, uh, if you're the admin, all you have to do is press install and all of your team members can use this and it's a very impressive function. Now, there are lots of different applications, so it's definitely worth checking these out if you're looking to enhance your experience with your team. Now, the final thing I wanted to mention is being able to implement uh, this uh, status function. So they've added this new status function. If you hit the uh, button up here to open up the window and hit set status, you can set an emoji status. Um, and also, uh, so if you, got, you add emoji and say uh, working remotely, you can save that and every time your name appears uh, you will see a, a new status next to it up here, for example. And other people put the status on as well. Uh, so you can see their status working remotely, working remotely, uh, and you can see everyone else's items too. Uh, so it's actually a very uh, cool way of either updating people where you are, or even whether you're in a meeting or you're out um, and vacation, etc., commuting, which will give your team a better idea of where you are and whether they should disturb you or not. Anyway, guys, I hope you enjoyed this GhostStills.com video. We'll probably go into more detail on Slack in future videos. Uh, but if you want to find out more about uh, GhostSkills.com, it's worth going over because there are full courses and full sessions which you can dive into, learn something about uh, a new thing that you can apply to any of your projects, work, or even uh, your businesses um, because there's lots of stuff to learn. Anyway, guys, I hope you enjoyed this session. Make sure to have a great week, keep productive, and I'll see you guys very soon.